Hey everybody, it's Laura from Green Tree and today we're talking about seasonal produce. Specifically, because it's fall, fall produce. Now in Michigan, sometimes it can kind of seem like once tomato season's over, uh, there isn't anything to get excited about, but that is just not true. So I went through and made this list, which I'm going to post later on our website. And you can see, it's backwards, I know, but you can see that in terms of the different seasons, you're actually going to find the most available in-season produce in the fall in Michigan. Now, a lot of this is local, but not all of it is. So I'm going to kind of run through a few of the things you're going to be able to find here at the co-op and in other places that are growing in Michigan right now and ready to eat. One of the favorites is pie pumpkins. Um, pie pumpkins are different from a regular jack-o'-lantern in that they have softer, sweeter flesh. They tend to be smoother on the exterior and they can be treated um, basically the same way that you would treat a squash in terms of cooking. Uh, you don't just have to use them for pie. They're also a great ingredient in soups, uh, casseroles, and of course sweet dessert baked goods. Other things are obviously apples. Uh, Michigan apples are amazing. And this year they're slightly later than usual. We have a few in now, but we're actually expecting a large delivery on Thursday. So on Thursday, we're going to have a huge selection of Michigan apples in, and that's when you're going to be able to come down and really get all the varieties that you love. But just because we have some in, we have started making apple pie. So we have got pie in, and this is one of the things that I'm going to be sampling today is the pie made from Michigan apples. Now, those are some things that are local. Um, other things that are local would be like spaghetti squash, um, other types of hard winter squash, not soft squash like zucchinis or yellow squash, but the kind where you tap on it and it's gonna have a hard surface like a pumpkin. Uh, these can be used in many different ways. I do have another video about that. Hi, Trinity. <laughs> Thank you for always tuning in, I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so these hard squashes are all gonna be in season. Other things that will be in season are cruciferous vegetables, which is things like broccoli, uh, cauliflower, cabbage, even greens like spinach, because they prefer cooler weather and so they mature in the fall. Especially because they also have a very long growing season and that means if you plant them in the spring in Michigan, they're not going to be ready till September, October. Now, there's also a ton of non-local stuff that is in season right now. And the reason that that matters is because when it's in season, it's going to be at its freshest, its best flavor, and typically cheapest price. So another thing that I'm going to be sampling today is these awesome red and green organic grapes. You can see they're really big right now. Um, I tried some earlier. They're very juicy, and they are a really good deal this time of year. So it matters that they're in season, even though we can't grow them here. Other examples of that would be pomegranates. Um, pomegranates, the reason you see them so much everywhere in the fall is not just that they're associated with the fall holidays, but that they are specifically in season right now. Because they're not a storage crop like an apple, they have these soft, delicate, little juicy aerials inside. Um, you can only get them when they're fresh. And because they are a long season thing like an apple, that limits it to a certain portion of the year. And that's why most of the year you'll only see juice and pomegranate flavored things and not the fresh ones. Another food that's actually in season right now is dates. Yeah, dates have a season. Um, another fun fact about dates is actually, oh, thank you, Jessica. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, another fun fact about dates is actually this is just what a ripe date looks like. They aren't dehydrated or cooked or broken down in any way. This is just what a date is like when you pick one. Um, so these are in season too. Now is a great time of year to use them. They meld well with all of the other uh, roasty toasty flavors that we've got going. And you can come down and you can pick them up. And again, this, the, the prices are better on these in season items at this time of year. <laughs> Thank you, Tiffany. And hello, Tiffany. <laughs> um, like I said, I've got a great big list here of all the stuff that's in season, and I am gonna post this, but I'm just gonna tell you a couple of the ones that we have in the store right now um, in terms of local produce. We've got the pumpkins and the squash that I told you about. We have a ton of greens. Um, that's salad greens and kale and spinach and cabbage. All of those things are currently in season. Um, we also have root vegetables, things like onions and garlic, uh, sweet potatoes, potatoes, 
All of those are local, in season, and ready to go. So, if you don't always pay a ton of attention to what's seasonal, check it out, take a look at it, and see why all of these recipes get made at this time of year. It's based on the growing patterns in Michigan and elsewhere, and by choosing the in-season stuff, you can get the best flavors, the best prices, and a more interesting diet if you're varying it, depending on what's coming up here and there. Oh, and hi, Bay City. Uh, yes, it is a busy day down here. Um, and for anybody who is watching the comments, uh, Bay City Co-op just commented, and they are a startup co-op in Bay City. Um, and if anybody's interested, they are currently looking for new owners in their area. So if you enjoy co-ops, want to support co-op, it is co-op month. Uh, October is co-op month, and Bay City is another nearby co-op that you can support. Um, I hope everybody's going to have a great Tuesday. If you want to come down and try some snacks with me, I'll doing, be doing this till about uh, 5.30, I think. And enjoy some seasonal produce. Happy Tuesday, everybody.